Hello there, this is Carlo and welcome yet to another tutorial and today we're going to be doing some very basic modelling in Cinema 4D. Um, hopefully this is going to help you guys get started that are just starting out with Cinema 4D sun and sun. So the easiest way to start is by solid texture, solid models. Um, so we're going to create some cigarette packs or cigarette pack uh, with a cigarette. It's probably one of the easiest things um, I think you can create in Cinema 4D. So let's begin. So first of all, I'm going to add a cube. We've got a cube here. And just here on the right hand side, uh, we've got some adjustments to make it thicker, smaller, wider, so on and so on. So first of all, we're going to um, create the thickness um, of our cigarette pack. Maybe make that a little bit thicker. Right, so so we've got the general um, size, shall I say, of a cigarette pack. We're just going to uh, bring that on top of our plane, right? So, and what I've done is I've um, downloaded a couple of textures uh, from the internet, which, because I'm so nice, I will add in the description below for you guys, so you can practice on. So I'm going to create a new material. I'm going to double click on that material, and it's going to bring up this panel here. And here where it says textures, we're going to load up our own texture. I've got it on my desktop, which is, um, let me just change it to large so I can see it. This one here, uh, we're going to uh, drop that on to there. Now we can keep it um, all the same. Uh, we don't need to change anything here in our settings. So I'm simply, guys, going to drop that texture on top of our box. So here you've got the cube. To manipulate and here you've got your texture so when you change over as you can see it changes over to the texture part of things and this here is your offset so we can play around with these settings here um, just to get um, the cigarette the way we want basically so I'm just going to drag that until we've got um, a nice sort of uh, Full thing. I'm just going to stretch it out. Um, this is normally on the um, bring this round on the bottom of the cigarette pack, so we need to get that looking uh, uh, pretty sweet. So I'm just going to. If you click on these, like if I click on VLEN, for instance, I can use my mouse button, uh, my middle mouse button, to um, go up and down, and that may help. Um, so I just need to maybe make that a bit thicker and bring that over about there. Let's have a look at the rest of the box. We've got a marble there, marble there, marble on the top there. That's looking pretty sweet, guys. It's looking pretty, pretty sweet. So there is our cigarette box. Very, very, very easy to do. Okay, and you can apply this technique to any sort of um, style of uh, boxes. So let me just uh, bring that a little bit over. Uh, let's get our offset just slightly uh, about there. Bring it up just slightly so we've got a nice edge in there. Let's just render that out just to check it. Guys, that don't look too bad, does it? So, secondly, we're going to have a little cigarette. Let's have a cigarette. So, let's just bring this around. I'm going to create a capsule. Now, what we're doing, it's very, very uh, simply, uh, with our capsule selected, we're simply going to play around with the size of our cigarette. Now, if you look at the box, it's got to be a realistic size of what the box is, the length of the cigarette, but it's got to be uh, quite thin. So we're just using our box um, as reference to the actual cigarette itself uh, for size. So we can put this here. And what you could do is you could have loads of these and have the cigarettes uh, sort of poking out the top like that. And what that would do is give you the impression that the box is open. But let's just uh, keep it basic for now for you guys. Um, and drop the fag, say, 
uh, about here and let's get another texture in so we're going to create a new material um, I'm going to double click on that material and I'm going to do exactly the same guys as I did before but this time I've got a cigarette texture so I'm just going to double click on that and because it's quite a straightforward um, texture once I drop it on <coughs> cigarettes basically near enough done um, as you can see there the only thing we haven't got the top here but that doesn't really matter I will show you that in a future tutorial so now we can play around with how um, you know how we want this to sit on our scene and we're basically going to create um, if you change your view here guys you see uh, here you could bring that down so this is your, your plane here um, let's check on the cube and let's just bring our box down so it's sitting on our plane <coughs> excuse me so now our model is basically flush to our plane so let's create a plane and as you can see we can um, make sure that plane is the correct thing so what we're going to do we're going to bump the size up to 2000 and let's go to 2000 so it's a nice big solid plane and this is what we're going to use to add um, our lighting and bits and pieces so let's hit create a new material we're going to double click on that material and we're going to keep it as silver but I'm going to put um, some glow um, maybe bring that uh, glow down a bit and let's not have glow alpha actually uh, let's have a look at transparency that's okay um, and that should that should be okay we want our reflectiveness to be um, quite strong we'll have a nice reflective uh, sort of base so I'm just going to drop that material on to our base there right so now let's try and render it out see where we get with that so we've got a nice base but it's a bit it's a bit bright guys so let's turn off uh, glow and let's re-render that out that's not looking too bad okay there's a very very basic um modeling in cinema 4d so let's add some light into this let's create a uh, target light and let's push that target light um, let's bring this over let's bring this target light up let's make it open and now the idea of this is to bring it to a certain point where we're going to get some nice uh, reflective shadows uh, in the scene so let's just uh, bring this around maybe make this a lot bigger and just put it in the scene where we've got a nice you see the shadow along the floor there now let's just render that out quickly because we want our shadow across the floor yeah that's quite nice and now I'm going to create some more lights guys I'm going to create some more light so let's create an area light let's bring the area light up let's bring it along let's bring it down and let's bring it towards our object and let's just tilt it up and let's just bring it up so it's on our cigarette box here and let's just grab the corner and just scale it up a bit so it's a little bit bigger like so so and then we're going to um control c control v that light so now we're going to have two i'm just going to bring that over here i'm going to flip it around guys like so to it down and then what we need to do is bring it in like so and then just bring it around the side of the box to about there so we've got the front and let's just render that out and see how we go with that so it's not looking too bad so let's go right in 
uh, to the model and let's just render that out see that's that's not looking too bad at all that's looking pretty sweet now we're going to select our first light we're going to come down here and set shadows to soft and we're going to get our second light and set shadows to ray traced hard and we're going to leave it onto uh, area and now we're going to check out to see what results we've just got so let's render that and as you can see we've got some really nice shadows here but the thing is this one here i'm not too happy with because it's emitting a hard light so let's go to another uh, shadow light and then just try and uh, render that out so we've got some lovely shadows if we go in closer some lovely shadows under the cigarette um, as you can see here but it's not flush against the floor so we need to fix that uh, so let's uh, go to our uh, other view as you see here that cigarette is not flush to the floor so let's just bring it and make sure it's literally touching the surface let's get our cube and let's make sure our cube is uh, touching the floor as well yep that's flush against the floor so let's go back to our 3d view you can see that cigarette is, is touching the floor now let's render that out and there we go guys pretty goddamn awesome stuff um, if you want to add a back plane you can the way you do that is you put it in position get your plane control C control V that so now you've got oh sorry I didn't do it yep yes I did and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna rotate that plane like so and this is gonna give you a bit of bounce from your lighting so let's just oh make sure we get the right one and we're gonna push that back sorry about that guys my alarm's just gone off um, let's just push that back and let's just push it up right so and what this board will do is it will help the light bounce so can you see the lighting on here um, this will give the, the oh shit sorry guys um, you see the way the lights bouncing off here so if we was to render that out now let's get into a nice position We've got some lovely bouncing light um, off the back um, of our ball. So, we can basically play around with how that looks. Uh, well, I say so we can go right in close. Let's round preview that. Don't that look too bad, that looks pretty good. Let's just rotate that so we've got it at a nice angle. We're gonna try and make sure at our second plane, um, fits the um, scene perfectly so let's just render that up yep that's not perfect because it's not in the scene um, let's just bring that over and let's just bring that there and let's just bring that over may, may need to make that larger just plain actually so let's go uh, 3000 on the top let's go three one two three and let's go three one two three boom that's going to give us a nice um background and there it is guys a nice bit of 3d modeling in cinema 4d uh, for you guys to start off with uh practicing so as always guys if you have enjoyed this tutorial a like rate would definitely definitely be appreciated and as always i will definitely catch you in the next video ciao ciao